we're told that we have five congruent triangles connected together for these different shapes, each of which is half a square. So that's going to mean they're isosceles. We've got 90 here. We've got 45 and 45, but I can add some lengths on. Now, I don't know what the lengths are, but I can just make them all one um, because, you know, if needed, I could just enlarge it or whatever, but it's not going to change the order at which the perimeters is because they're all going to get larger by the same amount. So like if I double them, all the perimeters will double, for example. So let's just work with one as a as a simple you know simple um, measurements. I can use Pythagoras' theorem to get this as root two, and then I can start writing the perimeters down in terms of these numbers. So let's do that. P. Right, I've got these ones here. So I've got two, and then I've got three of the diagonal ones. So it's going to be two plus three root two. The Q, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just one lot of root two. And then R, I've got one, two, three, four. Very easy to, to miss that, I think. And then one, two, three, lots of root two. Now, I immediately see that P is going to be smaller than R. So I can put P here and R here, um, and I can rule out this one and this one. Just the only question is, where does Q go? And it could be, um, it could be the remain any of the remaining options. We don't know. Is it first, second, or third? So I'm going to now make some comparisons. So maybe I start with P and Q. So that's that's my order up there. P and Q. Okay, so I've got 2 plus 3 root 2, and I've got 6 plus root 2. And I want to kind of compare these. So I'm going to take away 2 from both because then they're just changing in the same way. Then I'm comparing 3 root 2 with 4 plus root 2. And if I take root 2 away from both, then I've got 2 root 2, um, and I've got 4. Now, 2 root 2 is root 8. And 4 is root 16. So I can see that Q is going to be bigger than P. Okay, because root 16 is bigger than root 8, which means that 4 is bigger than 2 root 2, which means that that is bigger than that, and that is bigger than that. So P is definitely in um, la is, is the smallest, which means I can rule out that one. But I don't know yet whether Q is going to go there or there. So I now need to make a comparison between Q and R. By the way, another way we you could have done this part would be to subtract them and see if and compare it with zero. But I just kind of prefer to look at them alongside and then you know subtract amounts until I got to something that I could compare. It's a, it's the same approach essentially. Right, let's now compare P with R. So two plus three root two and four. Sorry, not P with R, P with uh my bad. We've compared P with R. It's going to be R with Q. Four plus three root two with six plus root two. So I'll take away four from both sides. Three root two and two plus root two. I'll take away um, root two from both sides. So two root two with just two and I can see that R is going to be bigger because I've got two lots of root two here. I could even, if I wanted to, I could write it as root four and root eight, you know, if that helps. It's clearly bigger, which means that that's bigger, which means that R is bigger than Q. Um, and therefore Q is going to go second place and it's going to be A. So there's quite a bit to do here, um, but yeah, just take it easy, take it steady with the uh, comparison, and you can get there. Well done.